Caught stealing some green from a smoke shop, not weed, it's wallets. But here's the twist. The owners of this popular shop in Ferndale now say they don't want this thief arrested. Victor Williams joins us live. And Victor, what gives here? Yes, that thief was bold enough to go behind the counters of this smoke shop, steal a product, and on top of that, an employee's wallet. But tonight, the owner tells me that he doesn't want to press charges. Instead, he wants to help. He was nice enough at first, you know, um, just asked a bunch of questions, kind of almost seemed like he was feeling out the place a little bit. Ferndale BDT smoke shop worker Evan Braybander says he was shocked looking back at the surveillance footage of a customer blatantly stealing. You can see him going behind the counter as he's being helped, creeping behind Braybander and taking off with a bottle of synthetic urine. Finally, when he kind of asked me about something. I hadn't realized that he had already grabbed what he was asking me about. Cameras then caught the thief coming back into the store just moments later. This time he's going after a wallet with nearly $300 inside. Uh, soon enough as a couple more customers came in, diverted my attention. He made a beeline for my jacket, grabbed the wallet, and then just kind of said his goodbyes and booked it out of here. But shortly after this post was made online, the perpetrator's family members reached out to the store apologizing and that the thief was only stealing to support an addiction problem. When store owner Jeff Spalding heard that news, he decided to not press charges, but only if the product and wallet were returned. We're extremely humbled that his family cares enough about him to actually contact us and try to make the situation right. Being the owner of a cannabis company, Spalding says he knows the lengths that addicts are willing to take to support their habits. And for that reason, he didn't want to make the situation worse for anyone. If we can get him into a rehab facility first over jail, that would uh, make us much happier. Now, some of you might be wondering why we decided to blur that man's face, and that was per the request of the owner. He wanted to spare that man's family even more embarrassment from our broadcast. And on top of that, the money that was inside the wallet was returned, the wallet was returned, and they even paid more for that product that was stolen. Reporting live, Victor Williams, Local 4.